Hey, welcome back to Lord Fussington's walkthrough of the critically acclaimed game Demon Souls. I'm your walkthrough master, Lord Fussington, and this is part 2 of Tower of Latria 3-1. Part after part one, and now we are on the first floor of the Tower of Latria. In the distance, there is a ball. Right, you can see it. It's like a sphere of um, bodies put together. It's a sphere of bodies, essentially. And uh, it's got two moves, Soul Ray, and um, if you get close, the bodies flail around and, uh, you know, it's a melee attack, essentially. Just, uh, you can kill it from a distance, dies pretty easily. It's not that much of an... I don't even know why I'm talking about this enemy, because it's not worrisome at all. So let's just continue forward. Um, you'll want to open these gates, right? And by gates, I do mean cells, and pick up whatever is inside the cell. You wouldn't want to leave it there, because, um, well, it could be useful. It may not. We have, we've just got an unknown someone's soul. Um... Which is not that useful. Um, there's not much to say about this area. It can get a bit confusing here, actually, where to go and what to do and all that. But um, that's exactly why I've created this walkthrough. To help those that are lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Lord Fussington, other than being a lord, is quite charitable. Also, if you've been wondering um, why I have the first floor cell key, all you've got to do is check out the previous video, which is called, cleverly so, Part 1 of Tower of Latria 3-1. It wouldn't be called Part 3 because it was the part previous to this part, and this part is Part 2. Anyway, got some silver bracelets there, fluted helmet, and cannot carry anymore. So I've got to put on the Ring of Herculean Strength. Uh, you'll probably have to do it as well, actually. Uh, so make sure you have that ring in your inventory. If you don't, well, I don't know why you'd put rings away. There isn't, you know, you should just always keep the rings on you. If you have two rings on you, you might as well just put one of them away. You don't need both. I mean, there's, but uh, generally, you know, you want to keep one of each ring. Just, just a tip. Just a, a really helpful tip. All right, what's in here? Oh yes, that is one of the best souls in the in the game. It's better than most of the demon souls. It isn't. Some people, uh, um, ha you know, ha aren't sure if if I actually mean Half Moon Grass is the best grass in the game. I do. It is the best grass in the game. There isn't anything better than Half Moon Grass, you know, because Full Moon Grass wouldn't suggest being better than Half Moon Grass, would it? Because it's full, so that wouldn't that wouldn't be better, would it? It would. It would. So I'm being careful here because I, uh, you know, I haven't been to Tower of Latria 3-1 for a very long time. Um, and there is a hole somewhere. It's on the other side, in fact. Uh, but uh, I wasn't too sure. Royal Lotus. More Royal Lotus, which um, is quite important uh, because um, if you're poisoned, you just consume some Royal Lotus and then you're not poisoned anymore. Amazing, isn't it? Yep. Old Spice, you consume Old Spice, and you've got your mana back. Mind blown. So, over here, there is a Crystal Gecko. You can see it in the distance. I suggest using it. Uh, a couple of arrows and a bow, and if you do let him, like you can't let him run in that direction because there is a hole and he'll fall through, and then you won't get the items, and that'll be a great disappointment. And also, um, you know, that's one less opportunity to get those items. Uh, every time you kill a, a a demon in the world, right? A crystal gecko will um, have sort of one res one extra respawn. So if it's at, say, neutral, so let's say zero, and you kill Fool's, fool's Idol, um, you know, he'll, ha he'll be there twice, right? Well, I think I explained that perfectly, so um, 
I'm sure no one's confused by that. I've almost confused myself. If you aren't sure, just look it up. After all, there's a Wikipedia page, um, which I used to frequent. I don't anymore because I refuse to do research during the summer holidays. Um, anyway, so just continue opening these uh, these cells and slashing chairs if you feel like it. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, another great soul. Fantastic. Uh, we'll go there momentarily. First, we've got to go down this side here. There aren't many enemies in this area. Uh, really, there was only one. Uh, the ball, the sphere of soldiers, or prisoners, sorry. Oh, they may have been soldiers. I have no idea. They are prisoners, though. We know that. Except they're out of their cells, which is a bit... You know, a bit strange. You'd think they'd be in their cell if they're prisoners. Maybe they couldn't get out of the tower, but the door's open on that side there, so they could always just walk. Just walk through it. Oh well whatever. So there's this little secret area here, and by secret I mean not very much so, because uh all you have to do is just you know, kill everything in front of it. And not in by kill, I mean just slash. Because nothing in front of it was living. Um, they're all inanimate objects. But I make these mistakes, and that makes me a better person. So there's a shard. There are some more things you can kill. Um, now that item there we'll get later. I think I thought I could get it from here. Which, um, well, obviously I can't. But uh, I didn't know that at the time, or I had forgotten that I could just go around. So I think I stand here for about mm, 15 seconds or so, trying to figure out if I could maybe climb on top of it. See, but I'm doing this so you don't have to. It's just... It's just a brilliant walk. I think it's a really good walkthrough. Yep. Really good. I think it's really about the gameplay. You know, I've been using the same shield and sword for the entire game. I got some new armor. I mean, you know. If I'm a little bit nervous, I'll use a bow. Yep. I can't really use the Dragon Bone Smasher at all. I think it's just slow. I'm used to quick weapons, you know. I mean, I, my dexterity build was uh, was the first one that I had done, and you know that's two katanas and all that. But um, yeah, I call them katanas, okay? Not Uchi Katana or whatever the fuck it's called. I think it's a stupid name. It's like calling. Um, the flying manta rays, storm beasts. It's absurd. Just absurd. So you want to go here now. Be a little bit careful because you don't want to die at this point. It would be a l it would be quite embarrassing. Um, and it's and it's easy to just fall off the cliff. And if you fall off the cliff, you will die because you don't have wings and you can't fly back up. So make sure uh, you don't fall. Although there is a secret area in this game where you can acquire wings. Um, uh, and they're incredible. It, it enables you to fly above all of Boletaria. Um, I highly recommend searching for I've never found it, but uh, if the rumors are true, they do exist. I think that's some good advice, yep. Yeah. Just trying to be helpful. There aren't any wings. I should point out there aren't any wings. There's no secret area that I'm... You know, it's just it's just a joke. It was a shit joke, I admit, but, you know, there aren't. I've got to fill the time in somehow, because, frankly, there's not much to say here. You know, look for the items, pick up the items, go kill the boss. Well, then, Lord Fussington, why have you decided to do a uh, voice recording? Because I like to hear myself speak. That's That's the only reason, really.
So that's a Mercury Rapier right there, plus one. Um, it's not the greatest weapon in the game, but um, it's a good weapon nonetheless. You can upgrade it if you'd like. I don't recommend upgrading a, rap a rapier. Or, whoa, a rapier. Actually, no, the S stock is actually better to upgrade. If you're gonna upgrade, you know, that sort of weapon. As I find S stock incredible. I think it's very much underrated. Even when uh, there was like heavy PvP and all that, you know, I, th I thought it was a great weapon, but wasn't used as often. I use it with my mage, actually. Come to think of it, you know. Like, not just that weapon, you have several weapons when you're, um, you know, your offhand weapons and your secondary weapons and all that, because you have four squares to... F anyway, you know all this, I don't know why I ex I'm explaining it. So, uh, walk up these stairs. Oh, what's this way? Oh, it appears to be locked. Fucking idiot. So, uh, to unlock that area, you're gonna need kind of tendency which one which one pure white mm-hmm um, no actually do you need pure white to open that I don't I, I don't think so well we'll find out by the end of this video if you need pure white if I open it, it means we don't need pure white if I do if I don't open it, it means we do um, yeah I'm not sure maybe that's where uh, sage Freck is I don't think he's there come to think of it I've totally confused myself, you know. Luckily, when I was playing on the day, I knew exactly what I was doing, so, you know. And that's all that matters. It's really about... <clears throat> it's really about... Um, the video, rather than, you know, me talking. I can give some advice, but it's not going to be very good. Renowned, which is... Um, I think that's worse. No, it's better, it's better. So this could end badly, and it didn't, which I think you'll agree is a rarity, because um, I'm very much shit at this game. You know, people say Demon Souls is really difficult. It's not that difficult. I mean, I'm terrible. I have no idea what I'm doing. See, look at those panic slashes. Anyone can play this. Children can play this. You know. The children shouldn't play this because I don't want to see them on the PvP area because it's just ridiculous. Oh, well, there's no mics, so that's alright. Yeah, they can PvP. Oh, there's a, there's an item down there. I must, must get the item. Yep. Is it, uh... Oh, it's gonna be fresh spice. Boom! Do I know my shit or what? If you said no, you are correct. So head this way, and um, or that way, or this way. It doesn't really matter. Both of the staircases lead to the same spot. Uh, but you know, if you're a bit neurotic like I am, and you like to make sure you've you've obtained all items and seen all areas, then you can double check if you like. There isn't really any point, though, so you know you'll save some time if you. Um, if you take note of that, or if you just don't care, which... Oh, look, foreshadowing. We've got some gargoyles up there. Foreshadowing for Tower of Latria 3-2, which is in the forthcoming videos, in fact. Um, yeah. What a great shot. What a great shot. It's really tough to hit things that aren't moving. Okay, so uh, you'll go through here. Um, well, I suggest you go through. You kind of have to, to be honest, you know. But first, you'll want to go top, right? So you'll go up this um, stairwell here, and um, then walk across. Well, when we get there, you'll see. Okay. That was a very difficult part in the game to get by uh, the arch. The arch. Yeah. So head down here, and um, see that's the church. That's actually where fools, where fools' idol is. So um, 
as well as the fool in fact but he's on the other side so uh actually we'll see him from this from this area i think there's just an item at the end on the other side there are a set of keys that you want right um including the fool but i'll i'll talk more about the fool when I'm, when we get to that so i don't want to you know don't want to talk about things before they've happened that would be you know a terrible walkthrough silver catalyst okay whatever so you can see the fool on the other side right and he's doing this incantation so i try to shoot him in the head um and uh even though i'm aiming and the right it seems like the banister blocked me so you can see the key i checked if there were keys there because i couldn't remember there are you've seen the keys now so we're gonna get those keys okay uh but before we get the keys come to think of it we'll have to you know that thing that we saw just fairly recently um that f that fires the arrows or bolts i think they're bolts actually well it doesn't really matter it, 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 what's impeding us from crossing the bridge right um cuz you've got to grab that we've we've grabbed that key but you can't cross the bridge or you get um i didn't even even talk about it i think i was ranting about something else which is typical you know of me um i tend to rant. i just talk endlessly about absolutely nothing I'm sorry. And uh head to the right here and there's a little um I think there's a lever on it. Yep. Pull lever. Boom. And now we've shut that all down. Uh so you can pick everything up on the bridge, right? There might be a legendary hero soul. Oh, is it this one? Storied. Renowned. Clever rat's ring. It's okay. That's good. It's actually quite good. Renowned. And this one. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Uh, it's all shit. Well, Stone of Ephemeral Eyes is important for... Well, personally, I find it just important for Black World Tendency to to uh, accumulate Black World Tendency easily. Which, in fact, I have to do the recording for that today. I'm not looking forward to that. It's really... Black World Tendency I find quite tedious. Oh, because you're jumping off a cliff until you can get pure Black World Tendency, and then you've got to go and make sure that you don't kill any of the Black Phantoms, or then it goes, you know, uh, back to neutral or whatever. Uh, so it can be quite annoying. Um, yeah, instead of going sh up first, right, because we want to get that item afterwards, but there's um, a Black Phantom here who can be a who can be quite annoying. Usually, I don't think I fight this Black Phantom too well. Um, but I was trying to see if I could m go this this melee route. But her blocking is excellent. Um, what you want her to do is you want her to get a little bit further back so she uses her crossbow. Right? And then... When she fires the bolt, roll and uh, roll towards her, and uh, then slash her in the face. That's the best way to do it. This way takes a little bit more time, and basically, if you do, you want to you want to get her to do the double slash right with the um, the baby's nail. So to do that, you have to slash a couple of times and then sort of leave your, leave yourself open, and then um, you know get get an attack in because she'll she'll go for an attack when she sees you doing it. And, uh, yeah, you'll make short work of her. She hits really hard, though. The crossbow balls is ridiculous. Um, I don't know about the baby's nail. Oh, no, the baby's nail doesn't do that much damage, either. Yeah, she... Uh, I've, I've found her difficult at lower levels. Like every enemy in the... You know, if you're at a lower level... I talk about this all the time. If you're lower level this, lower level that. You know what? If you are lower level, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. Because um, if you're lower level, you don't have as much vitality. It's that simple. You yeah. know? Um, you won't have the armor, it's, you know, obviously it's going to be more difficult. I don't know why I pointed out. Anyway, so take a left here, and uh, climb the, the stairwell. Oh, what's in here? Fuck all. So 
head up these these stairs, these steps. Yep. And practice your rolling like I'm doing. Ooh, I'm good at it. Just tap circle. Okay, uh, head left, because that's the only way to go. And not that way, this way. Okay, so first we'll take out the fool. You have to kill the fool. He'll If you talk to him, he'll basically say, Oh, don't kill me, nah, 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 whatever. You, regardless, you want to stab him in the head. You don't actually have to stab him. You can use any any weapon, just make sure he dies, right? I mean, you can hit him with your shield if you want. It doesn't matter, just make sure he's dead. Because if you don't, he'll just keep reviving the boss. Okay? When you After you kill her, you'll kill her, then he'll revive her. Then you'll kill her, and he'll revive her. And then you'll kill her, and then he'll revive her. So make sure he dies, yeah? Um... Also, if you don't kill him, and you go fight her, and then she, you know, obviously she's going to be revived, uh, you can leave through the fog gate to go kill him, so it's not the end of the world, just because you've gone to... But most people, I think most people kill him, you know. Uh, it would be a bit of a surprise if if they d didn't. Um, so head over here and get this um, this item. And we've got those keys, right? So now we can free, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sage, f uh, Sage Freck. Sage Freck? Freak? Freck? We'll just say Freck because it sounds a bit more polite than Freak. I think it's Freck anyway because it's it just seems like the spelling would suggest, I think, Freck. Or Frecke. Mmm, Frecke. Sounds like a really good coffee. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Anyway, we're going to save uh, Sage Freck uh, soon, actually. Just got to get this item. Now, uh, Windows lo Windows, yeah, Windows Vista. Uh, uh, Widow's Lotus uh, for Plague Resistance. You won't die if you jump off. Um, obviously, I didn't, so um, you won't die. Okay. So now we're going to go save... Oh, and now we get to see if that gate that I wasn't sure about if it's uh, if it's through that gate. I actually don't think it is through that gate, but I could be wrong. I don't quite remember. I don't remember. I don't remember re recording this at all. No, I do. I just don't remember that section. Hmm. Which is funny because the last recording I did was White World Tendency the other day, and um, I think it was like a yet. I think it was yesterday. Oh, looks like I'm not going in that direction, so... Yeah, so uh, that that area... You need... Uh, you need pure white world tendency. I think actually you need the keys for it. Oh no, I think maybe it just open. Anyway, it doesn't matter because... When you watch the video for pure white world tendency, I go in a certain order... So that you're not wasting uh, too much time. Uh, so, uh, it'll be fine. Wow, I was even confused playing. Oh, should I go that way? No, that's not the right way. That's the warden's area. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Sage Freck is just over here. Boom. This is the third time I've said boom. I'm not sure why I'm saying boom, but I have, so, uh, I'm just gonna continue on with it. Pretend it hadn't happened. Oh, he even says his name. Okay. Um, so Sage Freke gives you the <laughs> uh, Jerry Stiletto. Jerry, probably a good friend of his. If you read the lore, he probably was. And um, Jerry's probably dead as well. Poor Jerry. Not my favorite Spice Girl, but, you know. So now we'll head back, and um, the next enemy that we'll have to deal with is none other than um, the boss. Although there are a couple of prisoners around in the church area or whatever. Um, the church area could could actually be a church. Um, so we'll have to go fight. Uh, go fight her. She's very easy. 
uh, and I'll talk more about her later. But, um, that's really it for now. There's not much more to say about this section because there's not much more to do, really. So, um, next video is called Fool's Idol of Tower of Latria 3 1. I've been Lord Fussington. And thank you very much for watching. Kindly rate, comment, and subscribe. I always appreciate it.